What's up, Just Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and I've had this realization, and I wanted to talk with the camera about it and tell you guys what I'm going to do today. Well, I'm going to do all of that right after this enter. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. back I'm in my bathroom sitting on the toilet you know we're getting nice and comfortable um but I had this realization that um damn did it come in my head and then go away what was my realization oh yeah people expect more from me then they will give of themselves. And I've seen this time and time again. It kind of makes me feel like, wait a minute, I really have a problem with boundaries. Because even though I know that people don't value me in the way that I value them, I still treat them with a certain level of treatment, okay? I think that it's pretty much the problem of being raised, being told that you should treat people how you want to be treated. Now, this is someone, like, I don't want to victim blame, but this was you tell. I want to get it right, but I don't want to victim blame. However, this was being told to someone who was being abused. Treat others how you would like to be treated. And I internalized that for so many years. I thought, wow, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. And I'm not in a victim blame, but I'm not going to be forever in a victim mindset, okay? I'm just saying that was some shitty shit to tell me, especially because of how I internalized it. Because people say a lot of things that are not true, okay? And I just took this as truth. Bullshit. That is why I ended up waiting on people to give me a shred of respect. I've ended up waiting on people and begging people to love me because I wanted to, others to treat me how I would treat them. Because at the base, I'd never do someone as shitty as some of the things that people have done to me, right? I mean, I'm not perfect. Let's get it right. I'm not perfect. I'm very far from it. I'm emotional. I'm blah, blah, blah. However, there was a certain level that I gave everyone. And you didn't even have to be my friend to get this level. And I don't really know how to turn it off. I really don't know how to turn it off. There's people in this world who think that we are friends. And I don't even think of them in that manner. I don't know how to turn it off. It's like people think that I'm a good person because of how I treat everyone as a default. I don't know what to do with that information. You do what you want to do with that information. But um, I was just thinking and I was like, you know, I need to stop that. I need to stop waiting around for people to give me handouts to give me scraps of their attention. I need to stop being the jester for them. Okay, I can be the jester for myself. I enjoy people. I enjoy people so much, but it's like I'm like a shiny toy that people pick up and put back down. And that's been the story of my life. And I'm tired of doing that. I'm tired of being something that someone picks up and puts back down. And I don't, you know, it's not their fault. I'm fucking easy, you know what I'm saying? I'm so easy to be like, hey, Aaliyah, how are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm good. And then just go away. Don't think about Aaliyah anymore. I'm so easy. I'll reach out. I'll da -da -da -da. I'll look up all your social medias. I worry if you're still alive. And people don't even care if I'm alive or dead. It's giving... I'm the problem. It's giving. I need to have a moment to myself. And I think, I guess, going overseas, this is my moment to myself. I pulled myself away from uh, home. I pulled myself away from comfort. And then I could see it more clearly. I could see the fakes more clearly. 
even if I didn't want to listen to it. You know, I could see the problem more clearly. Why am I hanging on to the plans or the desires of other people when I myself have my own desires? I myself have things that I want to do and things I want, places I want to go, people I want to see, a person I want to be, but I'm waiting for other people to give me a smidgen of their time. No, other people are living their life. What am I waiting for? So, this all kind of stems from me wanting to make plans to go to a museum. I've seen this museum like three, four months ago. I brought it up as soon as I saw it. I want to go to this museum. I want to go to this museum. Three months later, I have not went to this museum. I don't even know if it's open. Duh, 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 duh. I wanted to go earlier today. I set a time. I said, look, people always call me up. Aaliyah, let's go here. People always call me up and I'm like, okay, let's go. People always, I gave, people call me up the day of. Aaliyah, let's go. Okay, let's go. You know, in my head, I was going to edit some videos and clean up my house, but sh let's go. Like, wow, people. I let people know a whole week in advance. I sent messages out. I gave them a timeline. Nothing. So I got to do it myself. And there's nothing wrong with doing it yourself. I just felt a little awkward about having to do it myself. But yeah, I'm going to go on a day trip by myself to this museum. And hopefully it's open. Because, you know, I didn't sleep until really late today. So, let's get the day started.